Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm going to take a look at my Transformers Studio Series collection. So this is just the main Luxes and Voyagers and, and Leader Class figures. I'm not going to take a look at the specific Bumblebee movie toys or the Tiny Turbos from the movie line. This is just the main Studio Series stuff. Now, I don't have everything. I don't have the first wave Bumblebee. I don't have a lot of the exclusives because most of them I just didn't really care about. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got. Starting off with Decepticon Stinger. So let me try and get some light onto that. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm okay with this guy. I uh, have a lot of problems. The transformation just feels like it just barely gets the job done. Um, but I like the aesthetic, and I think he's got a nice, uh, shape to him. Uh, moving on is... Deluxe Class Ratchet. So this is the light green version of him, not the Dark of the Moon color scheme. Uh, the one that comes with the buzzsaw. And, uh, he's a lot better than I thought he was going to be. In person, I like the color scheme, I like the red stripes. And I just think he is a good-looking toy, so I'm pretty happy with that. Moving right along, we have the first movie, Autobot Jazz. And yeah, he is definitely short, but I don't think that's a problem. In fact, I think that's a good thing. Jazz should be shorter than Ratchet, Ironhide, and whatnot. Um, and I love the molding. I love the scale. I, I can't really complain too much about it. And uh, if you're thinking, whoa, you paid full deluxe price for this guy, I actually didn't. So, that's good. Uh, moving right along, we have Age of Extinction Lockdown. Who, I don't like to transform. There's a certain step that just really bothers me. But other than that, I think the shape is nice. The articulation is a little limited, but I don't think he's that bad of a toy. So I'm going to set him off to the side here. And moving right along is the repaint Shadow Raider. Who I actually like the color scheme of. Um, I like the orange. I like the darker color to it. The head looks very nice. And I love the gun for this guy. Um, so yeah, as a lockdown henchman thing, I, I think that's a pretty cool looking toy. Moving right along, we have... Let me get him. Dark of the Moon. Crowbar. Now, the thing about Crowbar is, I don't feel like he's an improvement over Berserker. Uh, there's certain things that they improve, but overall, uh, the, the dreads don't really work for me. Um, they don't really transform too well into the alt mode. It just feels like, with a couple of these Studio Series figures, they kind of slacked off on certain areas. And uh, Crowbar and, and Stinger is definitely the top two for that. Um, still, I like his aesthetic, but overall, I feel like they could have improved on it. Moving right along, we have the Dark the Moon style Ratchet. Now, here's the thing. I like the first movie a little bit more. Uh, I do like the two, uh, two tones of color with the gray and the green that has a very nice contrast to it. I also like the gun. The silver on the face is nice. But he doesn't have the red stripes. Some of the detail is missing. And I just feel like the colors kind of clash. I, I don't feel like they're bad. I just... They don't interest me enough. Uh, moving right along is the Volkswagen style Bumblebee. And this is not the one that comes with the two-pack. This is not an exclusive. This is the regular release version of Bumblebee, and I don't like transforming him, I don't like the backpack, but I love the robot mode, the articulation is fine, I think he's fun if you don't transform him. That's that's pretty much it. Moving right along from that, we have... Let me get him out. We have... Dropkick, which I think is a pretty fun toy. Now, when I say pretty fun, I don't mean that he's accurate. I know some people say, oh, well, he's not accurate, so it's bad. No, I, I think that overall the toy itself is fun. So I really do enjoy him. Definitely not accurate. I, I will say that, but I like it. And speaking of which, we also have the KSI Sentry figure. Um, I actually think it's better done than I thought it was going to be. 
I think the head really works. Uh, the color scheme is nice. I think he's uh, rounded off enough to where it definitely fits in for the KSI drone. So, you know, I really don't mind that. Moving right along to the Voyager class toys. The first one we have is the Revenge of the Fallen style Optimus Prime. Uh, I like this toy. He's definitely got some accuracy issues. He's definitely got a lot of kibble. But I really enjoy transforming him. He's a lot of fun. He's great to pose. He's just a great little toy. I, I really do enjoy that. Moving right along, we also have the Revenge of the Fallen style Megatron. This guy is a beast. I don't really care for him in the film. He just looks like, oh, a big burly man. Gotta destroy, smash me. Um, but uh, I think that the execution for the toy design is really well done. And uh, I really enjoy that thing. Moving right along, we have the first movie. Starscream, aka my first Studio Series figure, and the reason why I decided to pick this one out is because I really like the design of Starscream. I, I mean, I prefer the original Generation 1 version, of course, but I, I think this just has something to where it's aesthetically pleasing to me. I know some people are going to disagree with me on that, and I totally get it. He is definitely a triangle, but... Um, I think he's just unique enough to where it, it's fascinating to me. So, I really do enjoy that toy. Moving right along, we also have the Dark of the Moon Thundercracker. This is the only exclusive figure that I have on this list, and Thundercracker's color scheme is nice. Uh, I feel like he stands out a little bit more than the Nitro. Uh, definitely in alt mode. Uh, I like the buggy face, and I get that he's not actually in the film, but this is a toy line. You know, they, they the previous toy lines for the movie-verse had a bunch of characters that were not in the film itself. So, do you think that Studio Series Thundercracker is going to affect that for me? No, not really. And I love Thundercracker in general. Um, this toy, I wasn't too sure if I was going to like it, but I'm so... Happy that I made that purchase. Moving right along, we have... First Movie Ironhide, who is probably my favorite Studio Series figure out of the list. Because he totally fixes so many issues from previous Ironhides. He's sturdy, he's accurate looking, his cannons are amazing. Like, he's got certain things that are obviously not accurate. I mean, it is a Transformer toy. But the paint scheme on the face is fantastic. It's just I wish he had a little bit more paint. Other than that, I don't really have much to complain about. He is just a really awesome toy. I, I love that thing. Uh, moving right along, we also have Studio Series Brawl. Now, Brawl I thought I would not like, but it turns out I really enjoy this toy. I think the tank mode is fantastic. The robot mode is great. He's definitely lacking in paint. Um, and what I mean by that is I feel like they could have done a bit more, but I actually like that lack of paint, especially with the tank mode. So I think they did a wonderful job on that. Moving right along, we also have the Revenge of the Fallen Color Starscream, and I'm being told that my camera's running out of battery juice, so I gotta hurry up. Anyways, I like the original Starscream, so this is pretty cool. Uh, as soon as I saw the stock photos with the saw blade, I thought, yeah, they're gonna make a Revenge of the Fallen Color Scheme Starscream. Uh, Bone Crusher. Really awesome toy. I don't know what else to say, except it's just awesome. I really love this thing. And then we move on to the leader class toys. The first one we have is Blackout, which uh, is going to be a struggle to get into the camera. Uh, just a really cool little toy. Um, I like the aesthetic. I like the transformation. He's definitely got a lot of panels, but I think he's just too much fun. Um, really enjoy that toy. And last but not least, the tallest of the Studio Series figures, in fact you can't even see him too well, is Grimlock. Such an improvement over the original toys. 
uh, the leader and the Voyager. So with that out of the way, that is my Studio Series collection. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. I'm sorry that I couldn't get a good frame of this, but there's just so much. And I thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.